All right, guys. So this video is going to focus on how do we find the measure of the numbered angles when given a kite. So for we're going to go through two examples here. Both example A and B are kite-shaped figures here. Now, some important things to know about kite-shaped figures here is um, when we have this shape here, so this shape, which is known as the kite, uh, forms four different triangles. Triangle one, two, three, four. Now, the top two triangles up over here at the top of the kite, these two triangles are actually exactly the same. This forms two congruent triangles. Just like these two bottom bigger pieces over here, these two are actually exactly the same shape as well. So they have the same sides, they have the same angles. And this is very important to know coming into these problems here. Uh, taking a look here, I can see that they only gave me that one angle is 26. And they want me to find 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that is a lot of pieces of missing information, but I promise you this is very, very doable. For the most part, uh, we're only going to be using basic information of triangles. Uh, for example, we should know that all three sides of a triangle do equal to 180 degrees. We should also hopefully know that when we're working with a right triangle specifically, that that right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Uh, so really just these two things here are going to help us answer a lot of questions in order to find the missing pieces um, of these kites right here. So, and actually the right triangle is actually where I'm going to start at, at first here. So if we take a look at these kites, right, we have these two lines inside this shape uh, that connect here to form those four triangles where the intersection of these two lines right here actually form four perfect right angles. So one, two, three, and four. Each one of these is a right angle. And what we know about a right angle is that a right angle is equal to 90 degrees. So what this tells us is that angle one and angle three are both 90 degrees because they form right angles there. Now, if angle one is 90 degrees, I also know that this angle over here is 26 degrees. Remember that the three angles that make up a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I know that this, this, and this equal to 180 degrees, and this side is 90, this side is 26, I can take 180 and subtract 26, and subtract 90, and that's actually going to give me my missing piece. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here, and I'm going to use my handy dandy calculator on my phone just to make things simple. We have 180 degrees. We're going to subtract away the 26, and then we're going to subtract away the 90, and that is actually leaving us with 64 degrees. So that means angle 2 right over here is 64 degrees. Now, this triangle is the same thing as tri this triangle down over here. So technically, we can just match these angles up, or we can calculate them still. Um, it's easier to go ahead and match them up. So if we take this triangle with this triangle, right? This angle and this angle are the same. Um, this angle 4 and this angle 2 are the same. And then this angle, which is 26, is the same as that angle 5. And you can see how those triangles match up. So if this angle over here is 26, that means 5 also has to be 26 because these are the same triangle. It also means that if angle 2 is 64, it corresponds to this angle 4 over here. So angle 4 is also 64 degrees. So uh, you can see here, you know, just knowing those basic informations about that, uh, about this particular shape here. Again, the kite shape forms four triangles on the inside here. Two bottom ones are the same, two top ones are the same. And that can help you uh, figure out a lot of missing information about this kind of problem. So let's move on to example B. Example B has a lot more missing information going on over here. There are 10 angles. Uh, that we need to figure out and it looks like they gave us that this angle down here is 39 
This angle up here is 41. So again, let's make things easy for ourselves. The four angles smack in the middle right over here are 90 degree angles. So that means one, two, three, four are all 90 degree angles. So that's an easy part that we can quickly fill out there. So talking about the top of our triangle, remember that these two triangles are the same. So my values for this one on the left should be the same for my values here on the right. That also means that if this angle right over here is 41, that means that angle five also has to be 41. That also means that if angle, uh, or if this angle here is 41, angle two is 90. That means that we can figure out what angle 10 is by subtracting from 180. Because again, keep in mind, right, one, two, three, have to equal 180 degrees. So we're gonna take 180 degrees. We know that one of them is 90, so we're gonna subtract 90. We're also going to subtract 41. So if we take 180 degrees, minus 90, minus 41, we're actually left with 49 degrees. So that's what angle 10 is. Angle 10 is 49 degrees. But also remember, if angle 10 is 49 degrees, it's the same thing as angle eight, right? Those are the same two angles. So that means angle eight is also 49 degrees. So that means we only need to find six, seven, and nine. Okay, so taking a look at the bottom two triangles now. Uh, if we're taking a look at the bottom two triangles, again, we know that one and three are 90. We're also given that this angle over here is 39. So I'm gonna be focusing in on this triangle right over here because I know one side is 90. I know this angle over here is 39. So I can easily find angle nine by doing the same thing, taking 180 degrees, subtracting angle one, which is 90 degrees, subtracting this angle over here, which is 39 degrees, and if we do that calculation, 180 minus 90 minus 39 is equal to 51. That means angle nine has to be 51. And again, angle nine corresponds to angle seven. Those are the two uh, congruent angles with each other. So that means angle seven also has to be 51 degrees and let's see the only thing missing now is angle six so doing the same thing we know angle three and we know angle seven so we can subtract both of those from 180 to get angle six so again a triangle equals 180 degrees minusing angle three which is 90 minusing angle seven which is 51 so again if we take 180 minus 90 minus 51, we are left with 39, which is the same thing as this one here. We could have just said that this is the same thing as this. Um, so you can see there's a couple of different ways we can go about this. We can subtract it from the 180. Um, I should have just noticed that that was 39, so six is also 39, but sometimes you get caught, caught up in just working the problem. Um, but you can see there was a lot of missing information in the beginning, but just with a couple of basic rules uh, about our shapes, we were able to figure out the rest of the missing information. So otherwise, that's it for this video.